What's up, it's Austin Mars TV back here with another video and today we basically got like a two strand twist um free form type of mohawk. Um I've already did a video on him, but it was when his um little twist was shorter and all that. So yeah. Um right here we're just gonna bald it out real close to the ear. And then right above that, um we did the lever open and then we just blend them two together and like it didn't take me no time to go through the first step since I made the like the bald guideline so close to the ear. So yeah, right above that, we're about to take the 1 8 guard and just blend up probably like near the top of the blend. Later on, we're going to go back down like down fade with like a 1 16th guard, but right now we're just using a 1 8 guard and going near the top and then we're slowly closing the 1 8 guard as we go down. Look at dude up in the back, man. But yeah, as soon as you get through with the 1 8 guard and you got the 1 8 open, blend it down to the 1 8 close, then you wanna go ahead and put on the 1 16th guard and have it open at first and then blend it down to the lever open at the very bottom of the fade. And then that's just the rough uh, draft of the fade. And then later on, I'm going to come back in with the Andes Masters. I, I think I just had the Andes Masters. Huh? But yeah, right here, I got the Andes Masters. And I'm just like detailing the fade. Like since the blade is like longer, I go in and I can go higher and like take out lines that I see and all that. So yeah, sometimes it's good to have two different clippers with like different types of blades and like different lengths of blades and all that. So you can like really get the best and most detailed blend. So it's going to be the same thing for this side. So a quick overview is you go lever closed, then you go lever open, then you slowly close the lever to blend them together. And then once you got those two layers together, you just go 1 8 guard open, 1 8 guard closed. Then right below that, you do 1 16th guard open, 1 16th guard closed. And that should finish up the rough draft, dang, rough draft of the blend. And then you can go back in with whatever guards or like another clipper and detail the fade. I went up like right here like down fading so I can get the hairs up by the twist without like cutting into the twist so yeah that's a real simple uh, type of cut like since his hair he don't keep the hair on the sides near the um, braids or whatever or the twist he don't keep it too long so that's why it doesn't take too much scars like some people depending on their hair type you might need to make it a little darker and use an extra guard or two but yeah, it's a it's still a simple cut. Just um, make sure you follow the system on both sides, and like also try to make the blend like the same uh, as much as possible on both sides. So yeah, again right here we're going in with the wall or not the wall, the Andes Masters, and we're detailing, and then we're gonna come back in on this side and detail some more too. Just look for any spots that you can get out with like the first initial um, time you went over the fade and then it's always helpful like since the end this master has such a long blade I turn the clipper on the side and go up into higher places and like use the extended blade just to get out a uh, little faint lines and all that so right here we're gonna start the lineup and the end is uh, T outliners wasn't working like on his hair type like different clippers like I said they work better on different hair types so yeah just uh, don't push it in too far and like make sure you go over it several times and brush it out over and over so you make sure like when they get home and if they get in the shower and the water like washes down their hair it doesn't have any hangover hairs or anything so same, same thing for the back I actually use holding spray which is why I got the white line on the front and the back and also so I can hold the hairs in place so I don't have to repeatedly brush it out as much. So yeah, right here, we're just doing the back line of 
don't go too far up like on the back lineup because you want it to really bring out the fades like the lineup and then naturally like blend in to the whole like area that's faded around the ear so as you can see right now the back lineup is kind of off so my camera is having focusing issues but I went back in and like as soon as I get to the next clip you're gonna see that I made it all straight and even like whenever I start this side you're gonna see um, it's straight across now so yeah same thing for this side like try to match where you went up to on the other side and also just try to keep it from like being pushed in any more than the other side and also don't forget to get all the hairs around the lineup like flip over the clipper or a trimmer and just um, get any of the frizzy hairs around the lineup or any of the stubble So same thing for this side we're just gonna do the C cup again and like I forgot to mention like down by the like sideburn area he wanted to grow out a beard so I kind of lined it up in the beard shape even though it's really light but yeah, yeah. just in case y'all was wondering I know sometimes y'all be on my top about like if I was you I would have cut that off like but it, it's really about what they want so that's why I went ahead and left it because he wanted to try and grow out a beard so I, I went ahead and did it for him. So starting in the front lineup, just to start off, this is one of the most like weirdly shaped hairlines that I have out of any of my clients. Like I'm not even trying to be funny or whatever. But it's like it like goes up and comes down in the corners and then comes back down in the middle with a widow's peak and all that so it's like kind of a wavy shape like so what I do to start off his hairline what I found out works best is start in the corners and um, try to make them as even as possible without pushing it up too much but yeah people like this you're gonna have to take extra uh, time on their hairline just so you can get a good shape without taking it too far back something you don't want to do is just like pick a spot and just start pushing it all back to there because then you're probably gonna get excessive like hairs that you shouldn't have cut off that you could have kept it lower just because they have a weird hairline or whatever take your time up on it and try to get it as straight as possible and see what you're working with like right here you saw I was looking at it because I knew it wasn't straight it was still like wavy in areas so I went over his hairline probably like four or five times even one time off the video just so I could try and get it as straight as possible so yeah um in a minute I'm about to apply the the um airbrush enhancement on it and I know at first I sprayed it on real heavy but this particular client he doesn't care about like the natural look I brushed it in some to blend it in a little bit but I, he like really cares about the enhancement lasting and like I noticed when I spray it on heavier it lasts longer like he'll be telling me when I spray it on heavier it'll be lasting on like six days since he don't really mess with his hair too much so yeah I just sprayed it on heavy for him like in the corner like closest to the camera where I'm about to spray it on right now like I know I could have blended it out better but um, later on I went back in with some water and also the brush so it could like because right now just with the brush it wasn't going anywhere so that's why I had to use some water and spray it so I could move it around some and blend it in better so yeah right now we're just going over any of the loose hairs that's left over after I just brushed in and blended in the enhancement and then after this we're just going to go over the enhancement um, one more time or the actual hairline one more time and just uh, get it as straight as we can before we we're done with the cut and right here we're just gonna use the shaver to cut off any of the stubble from where his widow's peak was because it comes really low um, so I just didn't want any of the new growth coming back 
anytime soon so that's why i went ahead and did that but go ahead and like if you like this cut uh subscribe if you're not already it's like 11 o'clock at night I, I had to do a study guide and like it's a big test tomorrow and all that and i took the time out to edit this video before i study for that just uh so you know i'm grinding on this youtube so go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications but anyways um let me know in the comments what you thought about this cut and this is austin mars tv and i'm out